guys, it's Rachel here. I want to say thank you to all the Facebook users yesterday that read my novel. And I want to express to others what I'm actually trying to accomplish. Um, uh, about almost a year and a half ago, I put out a novel called The Soldier and the Stripper. Many of you will remember that. Um, truthfully, it didn't do very well because of lack of marketing and all that stuff. But as God would have it, I found this site where it is um, um, a, a reader-based publisher, uh, which is... Um, the more people read and comment on your, leave a review on your book, is the more um, ink it considers um, publishing it. So the more people you could get to read your material, is the more people you, uh, is the more, um, they, they consider publishing it. So I had sold and a stripper up there since May. Uh, yeah. The middle to end of May I put it up there. And it's been doing pretty well. Um, it's, I checked this morning and it's at 199 chapter reads, which means 100, uh, uh, 199 chapters have been read and the book is only 21 chapters so it's quite a lot of people um, but they said they need at least like 500 people's um, chapter reads to consider publishing it so that's why I need your help um, so Below this video, I will post uh, the link to S Soldier and the Stripper and, and check, it, check it out. If you don't like it, that's okay, but at least, you know, uh, you read a chapter or two. But if you do like it, all the better. And it's, it's kind of a story that is... Um, Christian, but it's not typical Christian. It's not all um, everything works out in the end. Well, everything does work out in the end, but there is trouble and there is stress. There is drama. There, there's a bit of uh, there's a bit of things that they have to get through. So it's it's interesting. It's kind of a combo of what the world likes versus what the world needs. So I put a bit of what the world likes in there and I gave them what what they need as well. So it's kind of a book that is uh, close to my heart because it's what I would read. Because <laughs> I find most um, most, let's talk about most, uh, secular novels. Most secular novels, it's all about sex and all about looks and I'm talking about secular romance novels because that's what I used to read and that's what, um, that's what I kind of got caught up in. And it was like all the sex and looks and all that. He's hot, so let's sleep together. And it was like no moral value at all. And I turned to the Christian novels, and they were all they were all like fuzzy and and furry, and everything works out in the end. And no drama, like no intrigue. They were not boring, but they were too simple. Like, 
I love Christian fiction, um, but sometimes I find that it's too uh, cookie cutter, although I love it. So this book, I hope, is a mixture of of everything all into one. It's not quite, uh, it's not quite cookie cutter, and it's not, and it's not uh, immoral either. So I hope it's a good mixture. I hope you enjoy um, the journey of Clayton and Florence. I definitely enjoyed writing it. So below this, I will put. Um, the link uh, to Soldier and a Stripper, uh, the novel on Inca, and um, if you like it, and even if you don't, uh, you can pass it on to your friends, you can uh, share it, you can uh, basically tell people about it. Um, my goal is to try and to have as near as 500 readers by Christmas. Uh, so that's the goal. By God's help, I will reach it. So um, take care, YouTube and Facebook friends. Bye and thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. Oh, and I forgot to say that although the soldier and the stripper has everything that the world likes, it still got God in the center. So I, I give this novel everything that I know the world likes, but actually it has a major... a major Christ link in the center. So so it's kind of give them what they want so they read it and then while they're reading it they get God and his love right in the center. I can't believe I forgot to mention that. Um, so follow the link, read the story and enjoy. Thanks.